Moving on, at least 50 faculty members at the City University New York CUNY Colleges are resigning following the faculty union's adoption of a statement critical of Israel. And this coming in the wake of a major surge in anti-Semitism in New York City over the last several months, particularly amid the latest conflict in Gaza between Israel and Hamas. With us to discuss is Chen Mazig, activist, writer, and fellow at the Tel Aviv University. Chen, thank you so much for joining us. Now, why the mass resignation now? You know, has the atmosphere changed? Because anti-Zionist expressions of anti-Semitism in the States are not exactly new. Right, and we haven't seen yet a university um, faculty union that has taken a resolution to uh, boycott or divest from Israel uh, in the size that we have seen now in CUNY. Um, we know that CUNY has been um, anti-Semitic uh, for years. I mean, the anti-Semitism in these campuses, um, on those, uh, um, in the student union, uh, has been something that was condemned by Jewish leaders and, and actually non-Jewish leaders alike. Um, but to see a faculty union uh, taking a resolution like this one um, from the professors that have resigned uh, was something that they haven't seen before. All right, so how bad is the situation, especially at CUNY? Because you mentioned that anti-Semitism has, has been an issue there for a while. Right, and I mean, it's the, the most telling thing is that CUNY had passed two resolutions last month um, one about China and one about Israel. The, the resolution about China was defending the Chinese government. It was a, it was a resolution that basically protected the Chinese government against a uh, boycott. Um, and at the same, same time, they passed a resolution about Israel that is calling to boycott Israel and then the one that, um, uh, that we see now. Uh, I think that, um, and I hear that a lot, that people are saying, please don't do this whataboutism and don't, take, don't talk about China. It's another tactic to make sure that nothing is put into perspective. But I think we need to put it into perspective because um, it's not to say that because China is committing far worse human rights violations, we should ignore uh, the, the difficulties and the challenges that Israel is dealing with. But it just gives you a perspective and understanding that this is not about human rights violation. If it was, they would have passed resolution about how China is committing a genocide against uh, over a million Muslims that are being in concentration camps in China. Uh, so it's not about um, uh, human rights rather than about targeting a specific country. Um, and it happened to be the only Jewish state. All right. Chen Mazik, thank you so much for joining us again.